Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another mining ship. This one is very unique, so we haven't had anything like this before on this channel. This is called the Mammoth Vertical Miner, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is how it will drill down into the ground, how it will fly around, how it will connect up to your ship, to your base, because it cannot fly horizontally due to the way it's all been set up. So yes, you can just drill down into the ground, continuously go and go and go, until eventually you're all full up, and you need to reverse all the way out, then unload everything. So press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the Mammoth is... And wow, that's the blast from the past down there. But yes, the Mammoth is 1,305 small blocks, using the Sparks of the Future, Heavy Industry, Automatons, Warfare 2, and Decra Block Number 2 DLC packs. We've got a nice lot of information about it, such as the description of it, a short guide of how to use it, its specifications. So we're going to give this a thumbs up. Move around towards the very front, which is over on this side. Have a quick look around the outside. Then we're going to test out, see how it handles, and we'll see what kind of hole we can create. So at the very front, this is what we get for the Mammoth Vertical Miner. And that is one hell of a lot of drills to make a big hole with. Right in the middle, we can see a bunch of interior lights, as well as a couple of spot lights to light up in the darkness, with a transparent LCD screen telling us the angle of the ship, with a camera right behind it, so we can see exactly where we're mining. If you were to move all the way up, come up to one of these sides. So past this drill, up to this section, we've got some atmospheric thrusters to help move this thing around, and some gyroscopes which we can change the sensitivity from the cockpit. We also have one hell of a lot of great use of our beam blocks going around the outside, and create that lovely frame effect. And all the way up to here, we can see the first of many large, small block containers that go all the way up this ship. Yes, moving all the way up, even more beam blocks, some great use of our unfinished corner blocks, there's some more atmospheric thrusters, and all the way up to here, there is your cockpit to drive this thing around, and it does face down towards the ground. And there is the very top where we're standing, where we've got one hell of a lot of thrusters to move this thing around. We have rotating light to make sure everybody can know that you're moving out of a hole. Yeah, you're looking all the way down at that, we've got warfare battery right in the middle. Then coming down onto this side, all the way down, basically going to be the same as what we just saw. But there's another battery, there's a blinking green light, a bunch of thrusters. All the way down there we can see a connector on the back, there's some more gyroscopes. And all the way down to here, there is our drills. And just looking at it from the very back, so moving all the way up once again, there's our connector. All the way up to the top, there's another battery. And there I am at the very tippy top. And there we go. That's a brief look around the outside of the Mammoth Drill. And that was great with how it's all been set up. But now what I can do is grab hold of my character, show you why it's been designed like it is. I will go through the controls, then drilling straight down into the ground. So just put my jetpack on, moving all the way down, getting to the cockpit. It's going to get very wonky from now on. So there's the ground right down there. Bring up the HUD. These are the controls we get. So number one's going to try drills at the bottom to left mouse to collect, right mouse to make a big hole. Number two is for our backwards thrust to turn them on and off. Number three is for your ejectors on and off. Number four is for your ore detector on and off. Number five is for our connector on the side. Number six is then for your lights to turn them on and off. Number seven is for your batteries to auto or recharge. Number eight is for all of your thrusters around the ship. And then number nine is for your camera right to the bottom there so we can help aim this precisely. Make sure we don't tip this thing over as we drill down into the ground. On to tab number two, we then got controls for lights around the ship. So we've got our inset lights, we've got our interior lights, then our rotating light on the top there. Then number four and number five is to turn up and down our gyroscopes, depending on what we need. Yes, without further ado, what I'm going to do is angle the camera like so. Then we're going to drill down into the ground. And well, that should be it for the end of the video. So now just moving this very carefully down, all the way down, nice and careful. And now we've touched the ground. That's a lovely lot of sound. There goes the ejector putting everything out. For the moment, I'm going to turn off the ejectors to make sure I collect everything up. And here we go, all the way down. We see the grass being pinged around. And I'll need to come into the camera to make sure I can realign this thing, make sure we're still on 90. And yes, that's all we can see from the camera at the bottom there. So yes, back into the free camera, coming over like so. And then doing it one more time. So being very, very careful, moving this down nice and slowly, make sure I don't change the angle of the ship. And then eventually we'll get all nice and filled up. And we'll reverse it out, see how it handles, and that'll be that. And here we go, the ship is now about to disappear under the ground. And once it's fully gone, now move the camera all the way down. And that's simply what it looks like. So yes, it does what it says on the tin, it drills straight down, but can it reverse all the way out? But first of all, let's go and check the containers into here. And we want to come into that, since that's all nice and filled up. All those containers are filled up, and all the way down to here, let's come across to this. Are the drills all filled up? Oh, even the cockpit has got stone inside it. 
Yes it is, it looks like we are completely filled. So now it's time to put the free camera all the way back up. And well, it's time to remove the rain. And we're now going to slowly, very slowly, move this thing back out of the hole. So here it comes, it's very heavy in comparison. And away it goes. So yes, it can carry all the weight, which is very good to see. Now I can just grab hold of my character, and we can now probably drive this thing around, and reverse this thing up to a ship, up to a base, wherever it needs to go. Gonna be very wonky to actually drive this thing around. Would be good to have a few cameras here and there, so forwards and backwards. Because if you were to say move it forwards like this, using spacebar, it does get a bit confusing. Off we go, which is a giant flying tower. And it is very, very slow as we drive this thing around. But as for that, that is pretty much it for the Mammoth Vertical Miner. It's a lovely little mining ship if you do want to go drilling down into the ground and just keep going, 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 making a giant hole, knowing that it will always be able to reverse out with everything you collected. And of course, if you want to have it a bit better to fly horizontally, you can always strap on a few thrusters here and there, maybe extend the design out. That's entirely up to you. But as it stands, it's perfectly usable on the Earth-like planet. So, <laughs> while it's ejecting everything out, there'll be a link to the description below if you do wish to download and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.